the football heritage pack. Football heritage, yeah? Never, ever, 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 ever dismiss, dismiss experience, heritage, or Bayern Munich. Oh, and Madrid. But, 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 these are farmers' leagues. Really? No English teams left in the Champions League. Soon to be none left in the Europa League as well, because West Ham and Liverpool get knocked out. Good evening. The good evening pack. is flying the flag currently for English football. But don't worry. Don't worry, though, guys. This is the worst buying team you've ever seen uh, in your mutated lifetime. Is it a lifetime or a mutant time? I don't know. Um, what the hell was that second off? Anyway, we're going live for an emergency meeting. I'm going to set that up in a minute. Uh, Kenny, Jez and Matty coming shortly. Pause. And uh, yeah, another absolute disgrace here, guys. Amazing. 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 Starboy. Oh, but it's racially motivated. It's racially motivated. Really? Really? Yeah, good one. Smash the likes up, sub to the channel, sub to Lee Reacts. I'll be doing a watch along tomorrow on Lee Reacts. I'm not sure what game I'm going to do yet, but it probably won't be Liverpool um, or West Ham. So it'll probably be Villa. Uh, that's 2 1. But anyway, anyway, um, I expected us to lose. However, when new evidence is presented in front of you, i.e., the first half, where I thought we were superb, by the way. Martin Odegaard. Well done, bro. Well done. Well done. The atmosphere at Bayern, by the way. Can I just say, yeah, this North London forever. Whatever the rubber. What a load of garbage, bro. That's how you create an atmosphere, yeah? They got the flares going off. They got the smoke bombs. They got the music. They got the flags. Oh, excuse me. Can you put the flags down? Because Tabitha and Tarquin can't see. Shut up, Io de puta. Yeah, that's how you create an atmosphere. Yeah, some of them players absolutely got shook, bruv. Absolutely shook. Absolutely shook. However, the first half, I thought we were the better team. But we were the better team against Aston Villa in the first half. What is this manager saying at half time? Cheers, guys. Wheel out a new kit. Woohoo! Wheel out righty tomorrow with the retro merch or the invincible merch. Good one. Rinse and repeat. Big up to all the away fans. Big up to all the away fans because my chat was lighting up. Lighting up saying the away fans, you can hear them on TV. There's 80,000 people in that stadium. and I'm, I don't know how many Arsenal fans were there. Maybe 3,000, 2,000, 2 and a half, whatever it may be. But you can hear the Arsenal fans, apparently. I'm going to re-watch the game, um, either after I do the emergency meeting after the fan cams or tomorrow. However, uh, big up to the away fans. They've spent their hard-earned cash. Um, they've gone all the way out there in the hope that we can get a result. And guess what? There's one person to blame for why we didn't. The manager. Because we should have got a result at home against Unai Emery. And again, we were the best team in the first half in that game. What did he say to them at half time? Because Aston Villa pammed us in the second half. What did he say to them at half time against Bayern Munich? Because you've literally got 45 minutes left and it's going to extra time. It's basically nil nil in the tie. We're level pegging. We've had the better chances, in my opinion, first half. Might nearly should have scored. Whatever, whatever. Cool. So then you come out in the second half and you decide to go. I know what we're going to do. In La Basura, Betty Alamiada Io de Puta, we'll put all of that in the bin and we'll just go gung ho, like we're 2 0 down with 45 to go. What was he doing? What was he doing? That was a shocker of a second half. I can't lie. The only shock for me is that weren't more than 1 0 because they sniffed blood. The Sharks, 
they were the sharks they were coming for us baby sharks do 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 no they're a guy gigante yeah come on they're a grand shark i don't know how to say shark in spanish bruv yeah but either way yeah that was embarrassing absolutely embarrassing and that game we could have beaten them all we had to do was park the bus the second half just park the bus first half was superb superb Se second off park the bus counter attack them the longer the game goes on the more stressed they're gonna be the more they're gonna leave gaps the more they're gonna throw on subs they're yeah, attacking subs but no lego man yeah the thunderbird puppet tapas pulis well he should have been tapas pulis instead he tried to turn into prime pep what is he doing windscreen wiper football against a gaffer that's better than him and against players that are technically more gifted than ours oh and they have the football heritage guys that second half was a shambles one of the worst i've seen in the biggest game he's ever managed and he folded what is he doing then he throws on sub 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 what are you doing bro it's too late you're finished you're done they're throwing on defensive subs. Kim Min Jae came on. Yeah, like so on and so They're just chilling. Tommy Tooks. Worst buying team. In how long? Yeah. Oh, free for buying. Free for what? Yeah, that's now Villarreal in his first season. After he got the Bly in the first place because Unai Emery got sacked and already got us out of the group. And then he loses to, uh, to uh, Villarreal yeah good one mate following season bottles top four against antonio conte at that dead team in n17 in his first season as manager no drama though no drama because eddie and katie have scored four goals that took us from fifth to fourth or fourth to fifth sorry my bad fourth to fifth leaning on the corner flag at the bridge giving it all to that one then last season he bottles an eight point lead and this season, he has just absolutely thrown the whole season in the bin. What's he doing? What is he doing? We can blame individual players, which, of course, listen, Saka was awful. Rice was awful. Odegaard, second half, where were you? What'd you do? Martinelli was shocking. Yeah, but Saka was the worst player on the pitch. Ben White, second half, what are you doing? Gabriel, what are you doing? Jorginho should have stayed on the pitch, by the way. But no, we sub him off. Jesus, what did he do? Let's throw on Eddie and Ketia. Trossard, you're my boy. What did you do when you come on? Apart from give away free kicks and look like you hadn't had sleep for a month with your black eyes. What's that all about? Come on. That was absolutely disgusting. Disgust him. This guy ain't it, bruv. Get rid. And then Arsenal Twitter. I've got no self-awareness, shame, or anything about them. Proud of our Champions League campaign, guys. Excuse me? They were tweeting out before the game, a 2-0 win at Bayern in the second leg after they'd beaten us 3-1 at the Emirates. So we needed to win 3-0 because there was away goals back then. They're tweeting out Giroud and Koscielny's goals in that game in 2013 at the Allianz, which meant they went through on away goals. Oh, they won the Champions League that year. Find shame. That football club, this fucking football club, yeah, is a disgrace. Yeah, I am sick to death of the constant... PR, lies, and facade for gazy, catfishing, and anyone who goes against it is negative. F you. Yeah? All you people that said at the start of the season, if you don't win nothing this season, get rid. Rise up. Yeah? Oh, Arsenal to rise. Yeah? Change the title. Arsenal, get out of here, man. I'm sick to death of all this. Fuck. Nah, man. I'm sick to death of it. Kenny's next. Jez, Matty. 
we're going live. It's quarter to one in the morning. I don't care. I do not care. Yeah, I don't care. I have had enough of this. Yeah, had enough. That game was there to win tonight, and he bottled it. Yeah, swap managers. Who goes through? Thank you. On that bombshell, out of here. Smash a like button. Laters.